Hey, this is Anna. I've been working on Halloween projects this weekend, so I thought I'd share what I've been working on. Um, I've started out by making treat toppers, and uh, this is the topper I've made. This is a little ghost from the Stamps of Life, and it's from the set uh, Spooky to Scare. It looks like that. I just used the ghost. Uh, so I stamped the ghost and cut it out, and then I colored it with markers. And then I used a label die from the Stamps of Life to create the topper, and it's just scored in half and folded. And then I used a couple different Spellbinder circle dies. <clears throat> I used some orange and white and black and white baker's twine for the bow, and then just decorated it with a button from my stash. Uh, this is just a little store-bought tag, um, the little white office supply ones. And I stamped it with a sentiment and spiderweb stamp from the little one-inch cube dollar stamps that Michaels was selling a few years ago. Uh, so the back side of the die, the label die, then makes the back side of the topper. Uh, this bag of candy has all different kinds of things in it. It has eggs and frogs and um, sour worms and sweet gummy worms and bears and, of three different colors and all kinds of stuff in here. So. What I did was put together a list of what might be inside, and I called it Witch's Brew. And I put uh, Fried Eyes, Eye of Newt, Ogre Earwax, Lizard Gizzard, Witch Warts, Zombie Entrails, Slurry of Slug, Fresh Frogs, and Vulture Guts. Doesn't that sound yummy? <laughs> so I thought this would be fun to give to the kids. And then I added this little witch... Uh, sequin table scatter here to the top just for decoration and so I attached those to all the different bags so those turned out pretty fun and then after that I altered this little bag of gummy frogs that I had left over so I just bought a ton of these different bags of candy and then divided them all up between all the bags <clears throat> And for this one, I covered up the original packaging. The bottom of it was shaped like this, but I covered it up with paper um, cardstock and made it more Halloween-y. And I added these two little pumpkin stickers that I've had in my stash for years. They're little googly eyes. And used some ribbon to wrap it around. And then um, the back label here is just from one of the Halloween 6x6 six 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 pads I got recently. And it just says Toe of Frog. And all the little gummy frogs in there. And then the top I used a little um, tag from that same 6x6 pad. This is Happy Halloween with a little ghost out here on the end. And I used some of this uh, gingham ribbon again. And I used black and white baker's twine, an orange button, and a little bat sequin table scatter to decorate the button. And then I put together this little basket of goodies. Uh, for a friend and this basket was just a little strawberry basket it started out just plain like this just wood and so I painted it black and um, inside and out and I wrapped the edge with this sparkly tool um, fabric and I added paper to each different side of the basket And I added buttons with um, twine in each of the corners. And then I filled it with goodies. And this little clip I made just by attaching uh, one of the felt pumpkins from a pack of embellishments from Hobby Lobby. Um, I just glued it to a clothespin and, and uh, pinned it onto the edge there. And then inside the basket um, I put this purple paper shred and one of the big bags of candy. And I put this little um, notepad from Michael's. I thought the little black kitty on there was pretty cute. And then I also put in um, one of the pencil pouches that I make. And I always make these every year for uh, the kiddos. And what it is, basically, if I can get this to focus. Here, I'll show you one that's not wrapped. I just create this little cardstock... Um, envelope basically or box and it's just big enough for four pencils to slide in and I decorate the front of it with pattern paper I stamp an image and attach that to the front and I decorate it with a little bow and a button as well so 
And I make these for um, the Christmas holidays too. I just use different images and papers and um, use holiday themed pencils. So um, This image is from Whippersnapper Designs. Little cute kitty in the pumpkin. And then this image that I used on the other one is from High Hopes Stamp. A little Halloween pumpkin. So, anyway, that's what I've been working on. Oh, I have these to show you too. Um, these are some Halloween tags that I've made using my Whippersnapper set um, for Halloween. And so I've got the little ogre guy. Let's see. And he's stamped on craft paper and colored with markers. And I used a white colored pencil for the highlights on his hat and his eyes. I just added this little um, craft colored tag as well. And a button and some ribbon. And a ribbon at the bottom. And then to decorate the top of the tag I just used one of my, I think it's a Stampin' Up! punch. And I just folded it in half and folded it over the back side of the tag. And that just decorates the top of the tag. And then there's this little guy. And he's from the same um, set, stamp set. And the tag is pretty much the same. The um, tag up here is different, but other than that, the layout is the same. Just the images are different. So there's that one. Then there's this one, which uses my chicken from the same set. The mummy. <laughs> and again it's just stamped on craft paper and I used um, a white colored pencil. White Prismacolor pencil for the highlights and then colored the other parts with marker. And then tag up here says trick or treat. And again I just did the same thing with the piece on the top and folded it over. And the last one uses the owl from the set. And he's also stamped on craft paper and colored with markers. And then I used a white colored pencil to highlight the eyes in his pocket. And then his tag says, hope your Halloween is a hoot. So, so that's it. Um, those are the things I've been working on this weekend. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.